hey it's Lana from Sage and Sound and this video is a short book review on a book I read recently The Upward Spiral. Um, it's a book about depression and the neuroscience um, behind reversing the course of depression so that in depression we often talk about a downward spiral in terms of giving up activities um, and positive feelings. This book is about how do we start that spiral going back up again. I love this book um, because I thought it made brain chemistry really easy to understand. So it does um, tell you technically which parts of the brain are involved in depression and a bit about how different medications work, but it's very well written, there's lots of white space, um, and you don't need to understand any of that in order to get benefit out of the rest of the book anyway. Um, it does a really good job of explaining why depression isn't your fault, why you can't just snap out of it, and how there's really quite tiny differences in the brains uh, between the brains of someone who does have depression and somebody who doesn't. So I think it's really helpful if um, you know you've got people supporting you who don't really get depression uh, because it explains it in a way that makes it easy for them to understand what's going on as well. Um, it's a very practical book, so after you get through that first bit about the, the science of the brain and how depression affects the brain, it goes into really practical advice. And again, it, it's all evidence-based, so it's, it tells you those things you know you should be doing, like exercising and socialising, tells you to do that, tells you which parts of the brain they actually affect. Um, so that might increase motivation for some people, um, but it also breaks those ideas down into really small, manageable tasks. And again, the way the book is presented is really helpful. There's little text boxes that just have one idea, really simple to implement, that you know you could just open this book at any page, look for that box and go, all right, that's the thing I'm gonna do today to help me with my mood or motivation. Um, so it's got all that kind of stuff. Um, it also does go through other psychological uh, techniques, things like mindfulness and the way that you talk to yourself. Um, and again, it, it's giving you reasons why these things actually work, how they actually change your brain to help you get back up on that upward spiral. Um, every technique in there fits really well with the practice models that uh, we use here at Sage and Sound. There's a lot of cognitive behavioral therapy and acceptance and commitment therapy uh, type stuff in the book. Um, so yeah, overall, totally recommend this book to anyone who um, is suffering from depression and would like a really easy to read resource, or if you know someone who's got depression, or if you'd like to give these books to family and friends um, to help them understand what's going on for you when you have depression. Thanks for watching.